Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Mama's Got Plans and I am back with another plan with me. This week we're going to be planning for the week of July 16th through July 22nd. I am going to be using this gorgeous kit from Planner Bell Press. Um, I just love her kit so much and I've really been loving glossy paper and this is in glossy paper and it's just so, so pretty. So I'm going to go through the kit with you. These are your full boxes and I'm totally loving the purple and the pink and the blue in this. This is your functional sheet. You do get an additional full box plus your circle icons, some heart checklists and some more icons down here. This sheet has some three heart checklists, your half boxes, quarter boxes, your weekend banner, which I love. It's got like this butterfly kind of motif to it and some other items up here. These are all of your headers and your little things. I really love her little things because they're a little bit bigger in size and um, they're completely colored. A lot of kits that I use, they're kind of whited out in the middle, but I love that hers are completely colored. These are all of your ombre heart checklists. Again, here you can see the color scheme for the kit and it's just so, so pretty. And then here is your washi strips, your bottom washi, and there are some hidden flags in there. And you've got two sets of date covers, which I love, your date dots, your Monday through Sunday trackers, and your deco. And her deco is on the smaller size, which I love as well. And then these are the glitter headers that came with the kit. They're like in this ombre, which is so, so pretty, but I'm actually going to be pulling in something a little different, which I will show you in just a minute. Okay, so let me pull out. Here is the full box sheet. I am going to be using this washi from Simply Gilded. I just thought that it went really well with the colors in the kit and it's got gold foil. I am going to be pulling in gold foil this week. So these are the headers that I'm going to be using. These are from Tasseled Planner. Not sure if you can see it really well on screen, but they are an ombre, like a purple to kind of like a light bluish ombre. And they also have gold foil. And I just thought it went really, really well with the kit. I'm also going to be using these flags in the purple colorway from Tasseled Planner to cover my flags in the corners. And then of course I'll be pulling in some more gold foil as I go along, as well as my regular character stickers. So if you want to see how this spread comes together, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do as usual is put down my bottom washi. I did cut it down a bit off camera so that I had enough room to fit in the Simply Gilded washi that you see here. And I do love the way that looks, especially because the washi is a little bold in this kit. It's that really dark purple, um, kind of with like a glitter polka dot pattern. And so I do like pairing it with the lighter lavender simply gilded washi as you can see there I think it looks really pretty so now I'm just going and picking out which flags that I want to use I've been loving using these flags in the corners of the Erin Condren they fit perfectly and just give a little bit more foil to my spread I did white out all of the dates um, off camera and I'm just again using the date covers from the kit, I chose the ones with the dark purple background to balance out the dark purple that's on the bottom of my layout. And now starting with my sidebar, the first thing that I'm going to do is put down the quote box, which I love, and I'm going to be using some of the skinny washi strips that come in the kit as my dividers between my sections here on my sidebar. I used two of the habit trackers that came in the kit. I'm tracking both my no spend and my Instagram posting this week. And now I'm just trying to figure out what colors I want to use um, for my like running to-do list. I've been doing that for a while and I do love it. Um, I decided for my sidebar I'm going, I was going to do just all purple and pink. Um, there was a blue Monday through Sunday full box but I don't know it just seemed a little out of place there so I just went with the light lavender one and now I'm putting in my foiled script headers these are all from rose colored days and I love them 
For my pen this week, I'm using my tried and true um, Taiwanese marking pen. Um, I just, again, I love the way that it looks on glossy stickers and I love it paired with my 0.7 Paper Mate Inkjoy um, gel pen. I just think that it looks very similar and um, because sometimes, I don't know, the pens that you use on glossy paper look very different than the pen that you use on the regular Erin Condren paper. Now here I am just going in with the ombre foiled headers from Tasseled Planner as I mentioned in my introduction and I do love the way that they just add a little more foil to the kit. The first thing that I'm doing for Monday is putting down a half box and this Coffee Queen sticker from Bookish Planning. I'm going to cover the coffee cup doodle with a foiled coffee cup from Tasseled Planner in a light lavender color. After that, I'm using one of the little things from the kit and it already has a barbell symbol there, so I'm just gonna go with that. And I'm going to use it to mark down an AR session for my youngest. Now here I am, I was trying to figure out um, what I wanted to do. I was going to put down a full box and I thought that I was going to kind of top off all of my full boxes with more of these foiled headers. Um, you will see that I kind of just run out of room on Monday and I realized that because I'm also adding in the Simply Gilded Washi, it's just too much for me to do both a header like a glitter header and the Simply Gilded Washi below it. So I do end up switching that out, you'll see um, in just a minute. But I did use a Tofu the Panda sticker, kind of just chilling, relaxing on a pillow um, because I had a late night the night before and it was just one of those mornings that I just had trouble getting started. So I just wrote just chill there to mark that down. And now here I am just cutting down one of the ombre heart checklist to three. And this is where I kind of realize that I'm running out of room. So you'll see, I do take up that glitter header and I am very carefully peeling up that full box. It is a glossy kit, so it's not necessarily removable. But I find that if you pull up the stickers, <laughs> kind of right after you put them down, um, I was able to get them up. I, I moved quite a few things around this week and I, I was able to pull them up with no problem. So again, below the full box, I put down a strip of Simply Gilded Washi, the to-do header, and then my three heart checklist cut down to size. And now here I am, I'm going to use a little things because I do want to mark down that my oldest had football practice and there's just a little bit more space there than I'd like. So I'm using a very thin strip of washi from the kit just to take up a little bit of that room. And that football sticker is from Planner Frenzy. I love using those to mark down practices because I just write the time on the football, which I absolutely love doing. So moving on to Tuesday, I chose another one of the butterfly full boxes, this time with the dark purple background. And below that, I'm going to use a light blue little things. I'm going to kind of flip flop it around so that I can put my little tofu the panda on the right side to mark down that my cleaning service was coming. I also did a lot of um, bedding and sheet washing that day for both of my boys. So that change sheet sticker is from Stationery Heaven Co. And now here I am again, just cutting down one of the ombre heart checklist to size, this time in that light pink color. I am also going to use a boat, two little things actually. And you'll see here, initially I thought I was gonna use the dark purple all along the bottom to mark my son's practices. I do end up switching that out. Um, I think I may have done it off camera as the week goes on. I also used a Happy Mail sticker from Stationery Heaven Co. to mark down that I received some Happy Mail, um, actually from Planner Bell Press, as well as Piper Paper Company. So I just put the initials down there to mark that down. And then also marking another AR session for my youngest. So once I am finished with Tuesday, I will move on to Wednesday. And the first thing I do is put down a WTF munchkin from Once More With Love because we had no internet. 
On Tuesday, our landscapers uh, kind of dug up our Fios line and ripped it. So yeah, we were without internet. It was not fun. Um, I did uh, put down a quarter box to mark down that um, Verizon service was supposed to come between 12 and 2 that day. That foiled bow paperclip sticker is from Shimmer Stickers. Of course, Verizon did not show up until almost 6 o'clock that night. Um, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, so after that, I put down a to-do header in that lavender color along with that ombre heart checklist to mark down all of my to-dos for the day. In general, I don't like to write on Wednesday because of the coil, so um, I just used the full checklist there to mark down most of my to-dos. I did move down to the bottom of Wednesday. I put down this really pretty full box and then I'm just topping it off with some more Simply Gilded Washi. And then in the space that I have left, I'm going to use an emoji sticker from Once More With Love holding um, an Instagram symbol. And I love that it's kind of in this purple and pink and blue colorway, which matches perfectly with the kit to mark down my midweek post. I'm just going to go ahead and check everything off for the first half of the week and then I'm going to move on to Thursday. So for Thursday, the first thing that I'm going to do is put down one of the full boxes. Again, this time I'm using one with like the butterfly wings with a white background. I am putting some Simply Gilded Washi below that and then I am putting down a... I'm, I initially was going to put down this eyelash appointment sticker from Once More With Love, but I actually wanted to put a quarter box above that first because I had another visit from Verizon because on Wednesday they only did a temporary fix. They had to come back out on Thursday to do more work. And I'll be honest, guys, it is the following Friday when I'm recording this voiceover and they're still supposed to show up today because the issue is still not completely fixed yeah, <laughs> it's been a little crazy. So anyway, I put down that eyelash appointment sticker from Once More With Love. That is a new find for me. I'm totally in love with it. Um, I think in one of my previous plan with me's, I was asking for some lash stickers and then I found these and I'm in love. That little munchkin with the lashes is adorable. I did use another sticker from Shimmer Stickers to mark down that my Happy Scrappy albums arrived that day. I used that dark purple today header and now here I am just filling in the ombre heart checklist again in that dark purple color with some things that I needed to get done that day. I'm going to cut it down to just three hearts because that is all that I needed. And then I'm going to move on to the bottom of the day. I'm going to use two little things. Uh, one to mark down an AR session for my youngest and the other to mark down football practice for my oldest. Again, the spacing was a little bit like too much white space right there. Um, so I did use again another just very thin washi strip from the kit to fill up that space. And that is everything for Thursday. So the first thing on Friday that I did was use a Hello Friday sticker from Bookish Planning and a coffee cup sticker that came with the kit. And I'm so sorry that's out of frame right there, but I did put down a Today header in that light blue color. And now here I am again, just filling up my to-do list in the light blue ombre heart checklist and I'll cut that down to size. Once I put that down, I'm going to put a full box below that and then below the full box I'm going to add some Simply Gilded Washi. We hung out with friends that night so I'm just going to use a half box and this kind of just smiling content looking emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, we just kind of hung out, had some drinks, and just like kind of caught up, which was very nice. And then at the end of the night, I did have a little bit of a YouTube binge when we got home before I went to sleep. So I'm just going to use the little laptop sticker in the light lavender color from the kit and just write in YouTube binge.
Moving on to Saturday, so the first thing that I wanted to do was just start off with my to-do list. Um, it was kind of one of those days when I wanted to do some errands and get some things done. I, yo I chose the uh, light pink color. I put down a to-do header and then just again followed it up with my ombre heart checklist. My main thing that I needed to get done was I wanted to kind of spray paint my mailbox. It was looking a little worse for wear so I got some black spray paint and um, it's looking pretty good right now which I'm happy that I was able to do that. I did clean up my yard a little bit. We've been getting so much work done I just needed to do a few things. And then I also spent some time organizing some of my stickers and my new albums. After that, I put down a full box and then another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. Below that, I put down this adorable chibi sticker from Van Sticky. I love her. I honestly think she might be my favorite Van Sticky sticker ever because she's just so cute at her Planner Girl desk. And I just wrote Planner Ketchup next to that. And then I'm using another one of those Emoti Instagram stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. just to mark down that I needed to do some PR posts that day. I moved down to the bottom of the page. I put down a TV little things and then another light blue little things um, to mark my meals and another small strip of washi above that. Um, I did decide to use that sushi munchkin from Once More With Love because how can you not? He's so cute and we did have sushi that night. So moving on to Sunday, the first thing that I did was use this Don't Forget Half Box to mark down that I needed to work that day at AR. In general, I haven't been working too much there because we do have um, summer help, but our, um, our receptionist wasn't available and we were hosting a birthday party there, so I just needed to make sure that I was there and I didn't forget. I then used a Tofu the Panda grocery cart sticker to mark down that we were having our plated delivery that day. After that, I used an ombre heart checklist in the light purple color. And I don't know if you could see there, my phone rang when I was writing and it scared the heck out of me. So like, that's why my hand like jerked like that. I, I wasn't expecting it to ring and I didn't realize it was so loud. So anyway, I hate the way that it looks because it messed up my writing. So I did end up just cutting that off there. I then put down a full box and above that, I'm going to put down a quarter box with a foiled camera sticker from Tasseled Planner to mark down that I did film my B6 plan with me. And then above that, I'm going to use a desk sticker from Happy Dia Stickers just to mark down that I spent some time cleaning my desk. And that is it for Sunday. And then I'll just go back through and check off everything for the last half of the week. Okay, so here is a look at the completed spread. You can see there is just a touch of the gold foil. I didn't go crazy with it, but definitely with the Simply Gilded Washi and the headers from Tasseled Planner, um, there's some gold glitter in there or gold foil rather, along with just a few of my icons. Um, if you have any questions at all about anything that I used, be sure to ask them down below in the comments. I also will have a list down below in the description of all of the sticker shops that I've used. I do have several coupon codes. Um, I know I have a coupon code for Planner Bell Press. I also have one for tasseled planner as well as some others so definitely check those out down below as well and i will talk to you guys soon bye